this lesson, we're going to learn how to invite others to a meeting. The calendar be can be used to schedule meetings with others. Outlook will show you their free and busy times for the people you are inviting. You can also book meeting rooms and other resources. So in order to do this, make sure you're on calendar. And in our previous lesson, we learned new appointment, and this time I'm going to say new meeting. And the difference with this one is you'll see the two button which allows me then to invite other people. So once again, you can either click on the two button and select all the people that are required, for example. I'm just gonna invite one person to this meeting. Click on OK. The subject of the meeting. You would choose your location. And your start date and end date and of course your times. Let's make it for Tuesday the 14th. You could also, while you're here, make a note to the people you are inviting. You could even send an attachment if you want to. You could um, insert and attach a file, for example, an agenda. Once you've done this, you would need to see if the, all these people are free before you click on send. And next to appointment, you'll see an option called scheduling. And what this does is it allows you to see if, you, if they are free between those start hours and end hours. In this case, I can see that this lady is free, there's nothing here. Over here, on the other hand, I can see that she is busy. And if you have a look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see if it's blue between the start and end times, they are busy, they've either made an appointment tentative or they're out of the office, etc., etc. If, for example, you did schedule, let's make a change for, let's change this to today's date, or next week, Monday's date, and you'll see between the hours of two and three, she is not available for some of that time because it's blue in between the start and end. What you can do, and it's particularly useful if you have a lot of people you're inviting, is allow Outlook to do the work for you and find the next available gap that for an hour meeting, for example, where they're all free. If you click on the options button here, you can choose to say auto pick all people and resources. And so it's chosen the following morning between 8 o'clock and 9.30. And all the people, had I been inviting a whole lot of people, it would choose the f earliest time where all of them are free. So you would not have to search for a time through everybody's calendar to see when they're available. Once you've done that and you've seen they're all available, you would click on send. This would come up in their inbox as an invitation. And that is what we're going to look at in our next lesson, is how to respond to a meeting notice.